All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight. It's always so clean. And then outside leg kick, every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she is putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist, her first martial art, was MMA, that certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym, and in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle, I don't want to do jiu-jitsu, I don't want to kickbox and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, the best And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Caitlin Blood Fighter Cucania. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, the tension and the buzz is palpable as this fight gets started. Interesting stylistic matchup. Your thoughts on what we might see? This is a big time matchup between a fantastic striker and a great all-around mixed martial artist. Both of these women are extremely talented. Let's see who gains the advantage. Ah, oh, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, big knee there. And that one was heavy. Oh, and again, there's another massive knee. Spinning back, this is there. Just unable to quite find that range. I need more strikes. Just over three minutes to go. Big punch land. She lands that left again. Right hand punches the clinch. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Oh, how is she standing? Brutal knee to the body. That huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh! Ooh, what a punch. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. 
she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. Nice leg kick land. Straight punch land. Seconds left. Oh, Superman punch is good. Slips and rips. All right, so a big round for her there as she makes her way back to the stool. There was the knockdown there in the middle of the round, DC. Talk us through it. She did a great job of really finding her spot, really recognizing an opportunity, really getting to exactly where she needed to be to finish the fight. But don't think that this young lady will rush. She'll take her time, hopefully get there again to end the night. You ready to go? Ready. Round two is on the way. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Ooh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Good punch lands. Big body kick lands. Oh, she caught the kick. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Again, back into this position. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide open. You leave everything open as you will dig big, brutal knees to the body. Nice head kick. Just unable to quite... Huge connection by there. Lower the curtain. Bring the cast out. Bring the cast if you take the foul. The nice over. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, straight right. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Big punch lands through the middle. Finisher. Another clinch position. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Wow! And just like that, the fight is over! Holy smokes! What a fight! Not sure she could have drawn it up much better. Just a beautiful strike to end the fight for her opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that flush shot coming. So this is exactly the way she drew it up. She told us during fight week that she had to find a way to finish this fight, to send a message to the rest of this division. Message sent. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout, near-perfect execution, and that could be one of the better knockouts of the year.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner. There she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on...